Welcome everyone. I'm Laura Hsu, author of the Lightroom blog and Lightroom workshops on video at laurashu.com. In this video, I'll show you the new depth map feature here in Lightroom Mobile on my iPhone running iOS 11. Using the Lightroom camera, we can capture depth information along with our photo, and then we can make local adjustments to the photo, for example, darkening the background, specifying where that happens based on depth or distance from the camera. Now, Adobe is announcing this feature on August 21st, 2018, and I'm recording this video the day before. However, it won't actually be available until version 3.4 is released in a few weeks. Let's take a look at what will be coming. At first, Depth Map will be available as a technology preview. Adobe is still refining it, so we have to turn it on. Later, you'll be able to find it in the camera without this step. Here in Albums view, I'll tap on the gear symbol in the top right, and then at the bottom, Technology Previews, and then toggle on Depth Map Support. Then I'll close Technology Previews. Next, in the camera, and you're seeing my computer in front of me, next to the shutter button, tap on the drop down and choose Depth Capture. Notice that the camera will capture an HEIC file, which is Apple's format, and contains that depth information. Now go ahead and take a photo. I've already done that, so I'll close the camera. And I'll go into my Lightroom camera photos, and I'll choose this one of my dog Milo. Notice from the top drop-down that I've chosen Edit. Now I'd like to darken the background in this photo, and I'll use a depth map to specify that. So at the bottom, I'll choose Selective for Selective Edits, and then in the top left, I'll click on the plus, and I'll choose Depth Map. That's the fourth one. Then I'll adjust the handles in the chart to specify which portion of the photo. You'll notice that if I go to the right here, that I'm getting the foreground. If I slide this center handle all the way to the left, I'm getting the background. The rightmost handle will then determine how far towards the foreground my selection goes. If I go all the way to the left, you can see it's very abrupt and very distant. As I move it to the right, it comes closer to the foreground or closer to my dog. Another way to adjust the mask is to drag in the photo. Dragging down in the photo will move the range towards the foreground and up towards the background. Dragging side to side affects how narrow or how wide the range is. Finally, tapping on the invert icon at the top inverts the mask. Now, as I'm recording the video, I don't see any difference between smooth, sharper, and sharpest. I'll investigate this and I'll post information in the blog post where I'm publishing this video. I'll go back now to having this just affect the background. When I'm happy with it, I'll tap on the check mark. Now I can modify that mask with the brush or with the eraser. I won't bother to add or subtract from the mask though. Finally, I'll specify what adjustments I want to make to that area that's in red. I want to darken, so I'll tap on light, and then I'll reduce exposure. Finally, I'll tap on the check mark. Now if I tap at the top of my screen next to the word edit, I can see before, and then I'll let go, and I see after. So that's it for depth map support on the iPhone. A really cool feature. If you enjoy my videos, please show your support by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Also, check out my blog at laurashu.com for lots of free tutorials and Lightroom news. I'm Laura Shue.